Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got my monthly installment of the KB Shimmer Birthstone Collection and this month's birthstone is Aquamarine. I started off with Danny Digits, the peel off base coat, and here is Aquamarine. It's a very, very light blue silver. It's gorgeous. And I've topped it off with Posh Top Coat. It's very blingy. And I'm going to be using this You Are Beautiful Plate 04 today. And I'm going to start off by doing a couple of fingers with those little bubbles. And I'm using my Starry Sky Stamper from Born Pretty and my Faber Nail Scraper. And this is MDU Blue Navy. Mundo de Unis. It's like a... Definitely a dark navy, but not, not black, but not a bright blue either. So It almost looks purple on film. And I'm having a little trouble with this corner image. Sometimes we do have trouble with those in the corners. Just kind of keep scraping different ways until you get it cleaned up. And I'm going to put this image on my ring finger and my middle finger on both hands. I'm just using my lint roller in between to get the extra image off of the stamper. And as you can see, I'm having to really work that corner image, but it's worth it because I really like the image. And it's not a defect of the plate, really. It's just a lot of plates are like that. And I think it's because it has the backing on it, so it makes it a little harder to scrape it. But we're going to give that another go because that image, the, the second one, didn't turn out very good. much happier with that one and it's a little hard to see on that stamper head just keep rolling it on that lint roller and I'm using pure acetone to clean up my plate in between with a cotton ball that is on my cotton claw with pure acetone and that one's really being honorary that go But the image is stamping out really nice, even though I'm having trouble getting a good scrape. It's still turning out very nice on the nail. And it was really nice to have this manicure because it was all rainy today. So having something blingy on the nails was really nice to look at. I like that image. I think it's cute. Okay, I'm going to use this other circle-like image. It's got some more full and fine pattern to it. I just thought it would accent this really well with the rest of the circles that I was using. I don't know if you notice, but I sometimes don't clean the plate in between every single image pickup. Sometimes I'll do it once or twice and then clean the plate. But if you're having trouble, definitely clean between every one of them. But I've noticed some polishes and some stamping plates, you can get away with doing that. I love this stamper. It's so squishy. You just smush your nail down into it. <laughs> love it. And I got that one from the Born Pretty store. I think it was called the Starry Sky Stamper. And as long as you're not worried about like exact placement, it's a really good stamper to use. And while I'm thinking about it, I want to wish anyone that has a birthday in March, happy birthday. I've got to say happy birthday to all of our March babies out there. And I'm doing a little bit of cleanup with tape. And I did notice with this particular polish that if you got to it fairly quickly, like you can see this is coming up pretty well, it did pretty good. But I, let one, I left one hand 
I had to go outside and do something real quick. And by the time I got back in, I couldn't get any more off of it with the tape. So I had to use acetone on that one. So sometimes there is a fine line on, you know, sometimes you might want to do one finger and then do the cleanup with the tape and then stamp the next finger and do it like that. Sometimes you can do the whole hand and then go back and, you know, start with the first one you did and it'll come off really well. But I can tell you, I walked away and that stuff was like stuck. So I had to break out my brush and my acetone to get it cleaned up. If you get to it pretty quickly, it looks like it's coming up pretty good. And here we go. I'm going to top this manicure off with some posh top coat and seal that stamp design in. I just love these KB Shimmer Birthstone polishes. I think they're all just gorgeous. And I am being fairly generous with this top coat. Um, I've noticed that Posh is a lot like Sesh Feet in that manner. It likes to be, you don't be chintzy with it. You gotta, you gotta kind of do a rather thick coat of it. All in all, I was really happy with this manicure. As you can tell, it's on both hands, so <laughs> I must have really liked it. And I ended up wearing it for a few days, or two or three days. But I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. There we go. Turn that light off so you can see it a little better. But I really, really liked it. And that's all I have this time. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.